Hey, it's me, Javid. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Fallout 3. In fact, let's 100% Fallout 3. Hi. And if you're enjoying the series, remember leaving likes, comments, subscribing with the bell turned on. All helps out the series to grow. Thank you to those who do that. And big thanks to my patrons as well, whose names you'll see at the end of the video. <gasps> Welcome back. Is that what I do when people complain about that, by the way, the breathing in thing? I feel like people, I've heard a lot of complaints about that recently, and I didn't know what people were talking about. I guess it's that, the, <gasps> which I, I don't know. I just, does it, does it hurt the ears when I do that? I guess maybe. Anyways, uh, welcome back. We were talking to all of the ghouls in Quinn, Underworld. No oh, Mind we got the big guy. Let's yeah. make sure we talk to Carol. I think we got all of Carol's stuff. This Good. Let's talk to Mr. Crowley. You you'd think you'd never seen a ghoul up close before. Ah, but I have. Um, Easy now. I have nothing against ghouls. Is that so? Even if I call you a milk-sucking, mutant-loving, water-stealing son of a whore. Milk-sucking? You shuffle-stepping, brain-eating, grave-loving zombie? Another human bigot. It figures. Go mate with a super mutant. Hey. Yeah, you're a bigot too, actually. Um, I Okay, I actually thought he was going to respect it. Like, <laughs> you got some balls on you, kid. But no, he did not go for that at all. Did we you talk to Greta? Hun? Greta was the other lady, right? What's on the menu? You're in for a treat. Meets back on the menu, boys. Uh, we got enough stim packs. All right, let's try talking to Mr. Mr. Crowley. What are you looking at? Uh, easy, I got nothing against ghouls. Uh, let's see. All true except for the part about the mutants, the water, and the whore. <laughs> I like a human that knows this place. Too many of you think we're all just zombies. They don't know or don't care that we're just as human as they are inside. We bleed, we hurt, we regret. And you know what really pisses me off? What really pisses you off? They think the only way to kill us is to shoot us in the head, like in the old zombie stories, and that'll put us out of our misery. Hey, I know. Maybe you could help me even the score. Maybe. I don't know if I trust you. The feeling's mutual, smooth skin. But that never stopped a business deal. A lot of you humans are bigots. You don't like ghouls and treat us like zombies, calling us brain eaters and shufflers. Well, they're gonna pay. Uh, before I get into the details, you don't have anything against killing, do you? Well, uh, not for the right cause. Or the right money, huh? I've got this list of people. Ghoul bigots. Real scum. I've only got four guys left on the list. Started with 11. All of them hate ghouls and treat us like we're zombies. They all deserve to die, but it has to be done with a headshot. Just like the old stories where zombies can only be killed that way. I'll give you a hundred caps for each of them. If they die some other way, I'm only paying 25, though. How the heck would you know? Uh... Well, this is unfortunately the area where we would definitely say no, because this is flat out murder, but it's also 100%. Uh, oh, gosh. Sure, people like that don't deserve to live. Ugh. Excellent. Take this sniper rifle. You'll need it. Here's a list of the guys and their last known locations. Word will get around if Tenpenny's killed, but I'll need proof for the others. Bring me back something personal from each of them. As proof. Like a key, a ring, or something. What do you have against these guys? They're ghoul haters. I want them all dead. Don't you think that's enough? I like how he gives me specifically five rounds for the... Th five 308 rounds for the sniper rifle. Alistair Tenpenny, Dukov, Ted Strayer. I remember Dukov. I don't know who Ted Strayer is. And Dave. Oh, interesting. Okay, this is going to take us to some interesting places. What can you tell me about Underworld? It's a place for ghouls. Here, we're just people, not monsters. There are too many places where a ghoul can't get a fair shake. Okay, goodbye. Mr. Crowley, boo, boo, boo. Thank you for the rifle, buh, and for the rounds, buh, Mr. Crowley. Later. Goodbye. Okay, let's finish talking to everybody here. Let us see. We've got Underworld Resident. Are there hey. no bobbleheads in Underworld? Just let me sleep. Underworld mean? Resident. Uh, pick stall door. Very hard. Interesting. 
Uh, okay, I think we just have to visit the ninth circle of hell now, and then that's the entirety of Underworld discovered, right? Snowflake? Oh. Oh. Hey, look at that. A human. With hair. Hey, you think we can do something about that? About what? My hair? Yeah, man. That's what I do. I got hair. I know, I know you look around here and there ain't a lot of work to show off, right? These corpses only got half a head of this stuff, so I never get a chance to work on a full head. Come on, no charge. Uh, what can you tell me about Mr. Crowley? I know he doesn't sell jet, bastard. You wanna know about Crowley? Go ask Quinn or Greta. I don't follow the gossip around here like they do. Are you taking jet over here? Well, yeah. So, what else do I have to do except get high? You think that I need to be sober to cut a ghoul's hair? Half the work is cutting the skin off. These guys don't care how they look anyway. They just humor me. Ugh. Disgusting. How does a ghoul end up as a barber? I prefer stylist myself, but whatever works for you. Everyone has a gift, you know? I used to live in Rivet City. Folks there had enough money for me to do okay. But after I, uh, changed, no one would let me touch them. I ended up here. Of course, a ghoul with a barbershop makes about as much sense as a screen door on a submarine, so... Fuck it. <laughs> I just took up Jet. At least it passes the time, you know? Yeah, I get it, man. I mean, honestly, if you're a ghoul, what the hell else are you gonna do? Okay, bye. Remember, no charge. Right, but I gotta, I gotta want a haircut first. Also, I hope you don't mind if I shut that off. I cannot think <laughs> when that's playing. Okay, the ninth circle of hell. Final area to explore before we move right along. I know, I thought uh, Mr. Crowley was here, but no, the guy here that's interesting is this guy, Sharon. No, go talk to Azraka. I just, uh. Don't make me say it again. Okay, fair enough. Azrakal is over here. Why would you. Well, now, looky here. We got us a smooth skin that I ain't ever seen before. I'm Azrakal, and this, this is the Ninth Circle. Folks got problems, and I got liquor to sell them. Well, liquor and a few other pick-me-ups, huh? You need anything, uh, you just let me know. Who's that guy in the corner? That's Sharon. Let's just say, well, He's a loyal employee. Don't mess with me, and he won't mess with you. Oh, yeah. I remember this now. Uh, he's a loyal employee. What do you mean? I hold his contract, which makes me his employer. He will do what I ask when I ask, without question. You see, Sharon grew up around a very interesting group of individuals. They... Well, I guess you could say that they brainwashed him. He is absolutely loyal to whomever holds his contract. Unfailing, unflinching, until the day that employment ends. Don't get me wrong. I have no doubt that he holds no end of animosity towards me. But so long as he is my employee, he is as gentle as a teddy bear. I want to talk to you about Sharon's contract. Actually, hold on. I'm, hold on with that. Uh, what does he do for you? Watches over the bar. Keeps the drunks in line. Pretty much, I point at something and uh, Sharon hurts it. He's the best thug a corrupt bartender could ever ask for. He never bothers me with his own annoying sense of morality. This guy's got the best ghoul voice I think I've ever heard, so he's your slave? No, he is not. Sir, you insult me. I do not believe in slavery. It is an abomination. I am a firm believer in personal choice. To force another person into bondage is unthinkable. Chains are earned, never forced. Sharon made some choices that landed him in my employ. The matters of our contract is between him and I, no one else. 
Yeah, I love this guy's voice. <laughs> he doesn't say much, does he? His company is rather refreshing, isn't it? But don't mistake his brevity for stupidity. That would be very unwise. Underestimating an opponent has been the last mistake of far too many individuals throughout history. Okay. Now, before we talk about Sharon's contract, I think we want to get everything out of this guy, Azrakal. Let's talk about something else. Very well. You ask too many questions as it is. My viewers probably agree. Uh, is the Lincoln Memorial around here somewhere? Yeah. Just east of here. Bunch of guys with guns are holed up there. Okay. Does Crowley spend a lot of time in here? What's his angle? If I start telling tales about my customers, I'll lose all of them. No one will ever know. Come on. Oh, what the hell? Crowley shows up here last year. He's a ghoul just like the rest of us. Now, all of a sudden, he's looking for payback against ghoul haters. Except I've met Dukov. He never insulted a ghoul in his life. Dukov's got the foulest mouth in the wasteland. He's a drunk and a womanizer. But he's no bigot. Go ask him yourself. So interestingly, it sounds like Crowley has not told us everything about this particular quest. Uh, what can you tell me about Underworld? It's the only place in the capital wasteland where my people can escape the misery of the world above. And that misery, well, it makes a man like me very happy and very, very wealthy. I guess the insides of ghouls are preserved because you would think drinking uh, vitriolic stuff like alcohol would kind of mess with them, but I guess not. Uh, let's see. I need a drink. Sure. Okay, what does he got? He's got some stim packs. Let's do... Let me see the real goods. Why, whatever do you mean? I'm a simple barkeep. Nothing more. Look at these people. They're jetting. Trust me, I know. Ah, an educated consumer. My favorite kind. Yes, yes, I think I can help you. Simply step over here, my friend, and I'll show you my stock of more potent goods. Okay, so Azrakal is also a drug dealer. Why do you bother to hide what you sell? While there is no law in Underworld, per se, I'd rather not end up at the receiving end of an angry lynch mob. There's no shortage of do-gooders around here, and it would be just like them to take it upon themselves to interfere in a fair business transaction. Honestly, I have something to sell, and you ought to buy it. Now, why is that anyone else's business, huh? Agreed. Just show me the goods. As you wish, my friend. Yeah, I just wanted to take a look. I don't really want any of this, but yeah. It's exactly what you would expect. Wait, does he not even have... He doesn't even have Jet! Okay. Uh, alrighty. I want to talk to you about Sharon's contract. Oh, would you now? He's a highly valuable asset to me and to the Ninth Circle. What did you have in mind? I'll give you a thousand caps for it. I'll give you two thousand caps for it. Couldn't we work out some sort of deal? I suppose we could do that. Uh, although you might not like the deal that I have to offer. You see... I don't like competition. Not at all. It goes against every principle that I have as a businessman. <laughs> so the fact that there is another source for booze in town troubles me. Greta, the waitress over at Carol's. I want you to kill her. I don't care how. Just make it quiet. Do it, and you can have Sharon's contract. Why not just have Sharon do it? Loyal employee that he is, Sharon would do it without question if I asked him to. However, the entire town would come down on me for it. Greta is quite popular around here. If Sharon is the one who kills her, everyone will know that it was me who ordered Greta's death. I need Sharon clearly visible and in public when Greta dies, so that I can fairly claim ignorance of the situation. Fair enough. 
Uh, I want nothing to do with this. No stomach for hard work, eh? No matter. If you don't want to do the job, then come up with the cash. Otherwise, I'll just hang on to this contract. Will you, though? Will you? I have to go now. Everyone's got troubles, and everyone brings them to me. So, if I remember correctly, you can literally pickpocket this Thanks contract, although it might be... This is free... Okay, we're gonna make a save here. It might be in that safe over there, actually. He's got 10 millimeter rounds and that's it. Now, what about this safe? Very hard. But then he's also got a terminal. So, can we act? Oh, very easy. And we're hidden. Okay, what do we got? We've got clan. One out of four. Clan could be this. One out of four. Join. Join. Clan. Clan. Cannot be that. Clan could be that. Join could also be this. No, cannot be that. Join could be that clan. Could be this. Two out of four, really. I gotta shut that music off. Yeah, freaking copyright. Ugh. All right, shut that off. Stop messing with that radio. I have to, man. You don't understand. Okay, don't turn it back on. All right. Luckily, we're hidden somewhere around here. I'm not sure exactly why that is. Come on. Give it to me. Who is that? Just some random resident. Okay. Let's try this again. How about swap? One out of four. Swap. Could be that. Two out of four. Trip. Trip. Cannot be that. Trip. Cannot be that. Trip. Cannot be that. Trip. Can be this? There we go. Okay. Does this get us access to the safe, I wonder? Notes on Carol? Oh, look at all this. Notes on Carol. There's something up with her. She's become so mopey lately, I wish I knew what it was. She might be a good customer for the special stuff. That is, if I could get her away from Greta long enough to work on her. Notes on Patchwork. Can't say enough good things about this boy. The only thing is I need to remember to keep an eye on him. I've caught him behind the counter several times. I'd say that he's more trouble than he's worth, but somehow he just keeps coming up with caps for booze. Notes on Snowflake. What is it with this guy? Well, honestly, I don't care. He buys up all my jet and keeps coming back for more. Doesn't really matter if he insists that he's a barber, I guess. Notes on Dr. Barrow. Note, he has all sorts of good stuff in his office. I should find a way to get him out of town for a while so that I can restock my supply from his. Of course, the egghead never leaves that lab of his, especially since he got that passed out smooth skin in there. And then finally unlock the safe. Excuse me, Mr. Azrakal. You look like someone who needs another drink. Okay, we just need to be hidden in order to open this. Eh. Baseball, bottle caps, and pre-war money. What the heck? I know for a fact you can find this guy's contract somewhere else. Ninth Circle Cooler require key? Is there no Excuse way? Me, Mr. Azrakal. Okay, actually, I feel like... My friend... There's a thing where if you loot people a certain amount of time, certain things will show up. I could be wrong about that. All right, let me double check. I thought there was a way to do this. I'm surprised that there's not. I'll be right back. Okay, well, apparently I was wrong. Um, literally, you can only pay him or do the kill the Greta thing. So here's the thing, though. If you have 50 barter, apparently you can do the whole... Uh, uh, 1,000 caps thing. I don't think that we have even close to that, though, right? Yeah, we have 21. So, how many caps do we have? Items, caps. Ugh. I guess we'll have to literally buy because I don't want to have this guy kill. Yeah, he would not kill a woman in cold blood. Don't you... Okay, so, I want to talk to you about Sharon's contract. I'll give you 1,000 caps for it. <laughs> You're kidding, right? <laughs> Come back when you have a serious offer. And then, fine, I'll give you 2,000 caps for it. I suppose that could work, yes. Yes. Here's the contract. And I'll take my payment in full. I'll give you the pleasure of informing Sharon yourself. Wait a second. Sharon's employment contract added. And then 2,000 bottle caps removed. We have Theo's body location. What is this? Oh, yeah. R oh, yeah, Riley's. Yeah, I forgot about Riley's Rangers. Okay, there's a whole bunch of stuff there. Uh, I guess it's an item then. Miscellaneous Sharon's employment contract. Yep. All right, so let's talk to Sharon. Talk to. 
Slow down there. I've got good news. I'm your new employer. You purchased my contract from Razrakal. So, I am no longer in his service. That is good to know. Please, wait here. I must take care of something. No problem, man. Go oh, for it. Buzz minus five points. All I ask is to go quietly. I am told that I am no longer in your service. Dude, hushing the yes. buzz minus mm. five points. All right, let's go. Sounds good. Let's get out of here. As you wish. <laughs> oh my god. Is she <sighs> but you can't get that's so late. You can't get your caps back. It makes no sense. He would literally put the caps in his pocket. And then you should be able to just get him back. Ten millimeter rounds, uh ninth circle supply key, exit. And then we've got this, which if we can Not Yeah, I know guys, I know. That was crazy that that happened, but time to time to leave. Oh my god, these two people are causing me so much trouble. Yeah, I know, right? Okay. Look elsewhere, please. Okay, so let's see. Let's wait here for like 21 hours. What have I been playing off camera? I've been playing, oh, The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks for the DS, which actually is pretty good. I always heard that it was kind of bad, or at least people didn't like it or something. It's got gimmick controls, which I understand sucks, but outside of the gimmick controls, it's honestly a pretty good Zelda so far out uh, with doing the second real dungeon. Mm. Yeah, liking it quite so, a bit. So uh-huh, right, that. shut up, go away. I need to open this. Oh my gosh, they're literally like just, come on, come on. Who is looking up, are you for real? You're just gonna sit there? Ugh. Maybe I can wedge myself into this. There we go. Okay, what do we have in here? Bottle caps 196, buff out, dirty water, med X, mentat, psycho, stim packs, vodka, and wine. Excellent. We don't even lose. We don't even lose uh, any uh, karma for that. Okay, so there you go. That's how you get Sharon as a follower, uh, which I guess we'll roll with for a little bit. Yeah, why not? We'll roll with him for a little bit. Um, okay, and then I want to do this Mr. Crowley quest. So data, quests, you gotta shoot him in the head. Kill Dave and get his key, Ted Strayer, Dukov, Alistair Tenpenny. Uh, Alistair Tenpenny. I don't know where some of these people are. I know where Alistair Tenpenny is. Uh, he's kind of the antithesis to the Megaton quest to defuse the bomb. You go and meet him if you choose to do the opposite of that, and also you get, like, immediate maximum neg negative karma, which is funny. Uh, but Dukov is near where we are right now, I believe, at Dukov's place. So we can actually go right there and meet this crazy character. Let's go meet him into Dukov's place. Who the hell are you? Never mind. You need a drink. Jerry, I'm thirsty over here. Uh, who are those girls? And where are their clothes? Haha, <laughs> they're my party girls. I'm too much man for just one woman, so I need two. <laughs> I wear them out every night. Why should they bother getting dressed when I'm just going to take it off? <laughs> Alrighty, so those girls are just your whores? Hey, watch your language, clown shoes. I don't pay them. They take care of me, so I take care of them. We we'll rub each other wrong all night long. <laughs> Nice. Uh, can I have some of that hooch? Help yourself, clown shoes. Grab one from the liquor cabinet. I never trust anyone without a drink in their hand. Of course, I never trust one that does either. <laughs> Is Dukov supposed to be French? Can I have another drink? Sure. Didn't I already tell you to? Yeah, I, I, he sounds like he's got a Russian name, but yet he sounds French. What are you doing way out here by yourself? Eating, drinking, farting, and screwing! <laughs> out here, nobody bothers me. I can do whatever I like to whoever I want. Sounds good, man. Uh, I'd better go before I get a headache. You need to drink more. <laughs> okay, but hold on. No, 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 no. Just joking. What you need? Someone said you might know Mr. Crowley. Care to comment? He's fucking dead. That's what I can tell you. Feral ghouls ripped his nuts off and ate them for dinner. Yeah, I don't know about that. Where did he die? Uh, a little shithole called Fort Constantine. 
It fucked us up, but good. Where is this Fort Constantine? It's northwest of here, Nomnuts. A long fucking walk, too. Wankers like you can't get in, though. Huh? You need a special set of keys. A special set of keys, you say? How did all of you meet? Then Penny hired us as mercs. He wanted some fancy fucking gun. Don't know how he got Crowley to sign on. Ten Penny fucking hates ghouls. So, it was just you and Mr. Crowley? <laughs> no, clown shoes! Ten Penny hired a whole fucking team! Stray, Crowley, Tara, Dave, and me. Tara had a pair on her. <laughs> Sweet Jesus, they were nice. <laughs> that place fucked her up more than I did, huh? The rest of us went our separate ways after that. Actually, Crowley is alive. I'm supposed to kill you and bring him proof. So, the meatbag is alive, huh? And I bet I know what he wants. But I don't know what you want. What's your angle, clown shoes? Well, what's the key for? Give me something I could use as proof that I killed you, or else here's 200 caps. Give me something to prove I killed you. I have some caps, but I buy proof that I killed you. I don't think I need to hear anymore. What's the key for? You need all the keys to get through that fucking fort. Since I've only got one, no point in my going back there. If you want that key, I need to see your caps on the table, clown shoes. Ha <laughs> ha! So yeah, basically, it sounds like Crowley was lying to us, because as somebody pointed out, Dukov's not really a bigot. It just sounds like Crowley wants these four keys. Can we pass the 29%? Do I believe? I think I do believe. Give me something I can use as proof that I killed you. Or else. That dog ain't gonna hunt. You're gonna have to do better than that. Fair enough. Uh, I have some caps. How about I buy... What is the difference between this one and this one? Here's 200 caps. Give me something to prove I killed you. Now that's what I'm talking about. You don't even know what's going on, do you, clown shoes? <laughs> you just bought yourself a motherfucking key. Now take it and get the hell out of here. Dukov's special key added. 200 bottle caps removed. Bring Dukov's key to Mr. Crowley. I'd better leave. Don't let the door hit you in the ass, clown shoes. Ha <laughs> ha. I feel like there is a bobblehead in here, although I could be wrong. He's got an assault rifle. He's got a carton of cigarettes. Let's talk to uh, Cherry. Hi, sweetie. I'm Cherry. What can I do for you? Hi, why aren't you dressed? Dukov likes to keep it hot. Ain't no need for nothing else. Fair enough. Uh, what's the deal with Dukov? He's a lecherous old man. The only reason I put up with him and his needs is because I'm safe here. He tends to shoot first and ask questions later. Don't pull out a weapon near him. He's likely to shoot you. And he's really good. So I guess maybe you could pull out a weapon and taunt him into attacking you for your conscience to be fine, like you're just defending yourself. Uh, wow. Thanks for the warning. No sweat. So what exactly is this place? It's, well, it's Dukov's place. He lives here. Pretty much, he just does a lot of drinking and partying. Yeah. All right. Well, see you later. Bye. Okay. Hello, uh, Fantasia. Oh, my. <laughs> Aren't you a stud? I'm Fantasia. If you need something, just let me know. Like, sex, I feel like, is what you're saying? Uh, who are you and why are you dressed like that? Dookie doesn't like me to wear a lot. Ugh. He says it slows things down. Right. What's this Dukov guy like? He's all right. He can be a real fun guy, but he sure knows how to wear a girl out. Gross. Most of all, I'm safe here. I wouldn't pull out a weapon, even just to show him. He gets kind of paranoid about that. Don't get in a shooting match with him. He's really good. Okay, your life, your choice. Damn straight. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, I feel like, yeah, I feel like there is a bobblehead here in Dukov's place. Let's go check around really quick. Pick door locked easy. Ooh, curious what's behind here. Come on. We got Cobalt's Curiosity Streak. Uh, what do you have back here? Sawed off shoddy. Some metal boxes, an empty desk, empty filing cabinets, except for one with three bottle caps and a Nuka Cola. 
Okay, probably shouldn't have stolen that. Uh, what else do we have in here in Dukov's place? Anything in the bathroom? Let's see. Is he screaming about attacking me or is he cool? I think he's cool. He's talking to the girls, I think. Okay, nothing over here. Maybe one upstairs? more attention to what you're doing. My brain is telling me that he does indeed. Oh yeah, there's something here, I think, actually. Maybe. What was that? Cigarette, tortoiseshell glasses. I, I feel like there's something unique in this in this uh in this house. Let's go upstairs and check that out real quick. What do you have, Dookie? I think you have a bobblehead or at least a skill book or something. Nothing there. Large burnt book. Just a bunch of cinder blocks. Nothing there except for some Abraxo cleaner. We've got a vending machine. Do we get lucky? We do not. We've got a cabinet with nothing inside except for more alcohol. These guys just don't even eat, I guess. All they do is drink. Oh, I think I saw something out of the corner of my eye. I did indeed. It is a Nuka-Cola Quantum, which we will yoink. It's weird that you have to get those, yet it gives you negative karma, but I guess it makes sense. Okay. What's up, Dookie? You got your goddamn key. Isn't that enough? Uh, yeah. I better go. Okay, yeah. I'll drink more, man. <laughs> What's the big okay. idea? I guess he's wanting to kick us out now. All right, I guess that... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that, too. Uh, all right, I guess that's it for Dukov's place. We can obviously kill him if we want to get an extra 100 caps, but I think Cobalt will not do that. We're going to end the episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, if you enjoy the series, hitting the like button, subscribe with the bell turned on, leaving comments all helps out. Thank you to my patrons whose names you're about to see. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <gasps>